Hello, this is Logan Murphy, and today I will be showing you how to properly link to jQuery. Uh, so, first thing that I am going to do, I renamed these jQuery files uh, for the CSS. I named it jQuery UI, uh, jQuery UI.js, and jQuery.js. And next, I'm going to move these up a folder because I don't want to have to reference the UI likeness. And we're going to create a web page new JSP page and this is going to be a sign up page so that's what I'll call it JSP and up here in the head we're going to add references to jQuery uh, so text slash JavaScript source equals jQuery JS and that's in the JS folder so make, make sure we specify that and we also want to import jQuery underscore UI and we also want to import our theme our CSS theme so that's text CSS rel equals style sheet and the href will be CSS slash jQuery underscore UI dot CSS and that's self closing tag and we'll do a quick format and we'll, we're going to make sure everything is correct so let's put a input here Just type is text name is birthday ID is birthday and we'll also put an input whose type is submit and its ID is sign underscore up and close that and we'll format and we'll come up here and create a script tag whose type is text slash, slash uh, javascript and we will dollar select a function to say that we're going to wait for the document to load this function will be called when the document is loaded and we will dollar select pound birthday dot date picker and we will dollar select pound dot button and I'm kinda noticing that this isn't formatting right which probably means I did something wrong you can see that I did do something wrong um, so now you see this turn purple and these turn blue so now you did something right so we save it and we will choose to run sign up as on the server, finish, and when you click on this, so you can see that the date picker worked, but the CSS doesn't. So this is also the CSS not working properly. Uh, the reason is because we had to well we had to look at our link. So we see we spelled it wrong. So now it looks like it's spelled right. We'll save it. Come back here, refresh and now that looks like a submit button we click here this looks like a date picker so that's how we're going to link to our CSS and jQuery and for the next video we're going to make a template and base it on this theme I'm Logan Murphy I'll see you next time